not how I wanted to start my week. But it is what it is. Gotta get this show on the road. Catch you soon, shortly. Let's go get the trailer and get rolling. crazy or at least here we'll see how the main roads look they should be fine but I know they're calling for uh, what is it uh, frozen mix I gotta be careful coming down this road because it's beat all the crap potholes the size of well there was one the size of the swimming pool but we're gonna get on up the road here get hooked up and get uh get rolling Stay tuned for these winter tips. All right, well, good snowy uh, Sunday afternoon. We're leaving on Sunday because, uh, well, we got a delivery in the morning, so we're already loaded. And uh, just gonna get there so we can be there first thing in the morning. It is a little bit snowy. Figured what better time to throw out some winter driving tips. So consider this a T-Bones Tips edition. Okay, one tip you wanna do, you wanna make sure your truck is free of uh, snow and ice you don't want to cover up your lights you want to try and get as much of that stuff off of there as you can one so you can see good you have good visibility that got right in my eye so much for visibility right wow but uh two you don't want that flying off your truck and hitting another car especially if it's heavier snow or icy very dangerous stuff's all twisted up another good tip is dress for the weather always have extra clothing as well that way if you're out in the weather like this granted it's not bad right now it's not really doing anything but if it was colder than it is now which is I don't know 34 degrees right now you can get frostbite real easy, or, you know, you want to stay warm, right? How long are these legs? Holy crap. Noisy and squeaky. LED lights don't act the same in winter as regular lights. want to check that your brakes aren't locked up especially drum brakes in the winter if they're wet and you set your brakes they have a chance to freeze and as I was saying LED lights they don't put off the warmth as standard bulbs like this bulb might this light might be okay but that has a tendency to get snow on it and it's not going to melt the snow because it don't get as warm as incandescent bombs it's part of the pre-trip we go ahead and look up under there and make sure our fifth wheel is latched and if you're driving a Cascadia or something similar that has LED lights You want to make sure you keep those liked off, wiped off because, like I said, they gather snow and they don't put off the heat as regular bulbs, so it's not going to melt it away as good. So the reason we're talking about all this today is because there's several winter storms coming up. Uh, it's supposed to be piling on one right after the other. And um, as a new driver, you should be aware of this stuff have extra clothing, have extra food, have extra water. Also have a good weather app or multiple weather apps. I have VacuWeather, I have WeatherBug, I have a cool app called My Radar. I really like that app. And I also subscribe to a guy named Ryan Hall. You can find him on YouTube, Ryan Hall Y'all. 
Now, I don't know if he's professional or semi-professional or does it as a hobby, but the man has been spot on on every, every storm that I have uh, got a notification about. Uh, again, you can find him on YouTube at Ryan Hall Yaw. But my number one most important tip for you new guys out there, or even some of you, uh, uh, the veterans, slow down. And if you're not comfortable with the weather, whether it be snow, ice, severe storms, wind, slow it down. Park the truck if you have to. Don't drive beyond your limits. If you're not comfortable, park the truck. And that's the best advice I can give you. And that's all I got. This has been another episode of T-Bone's Tips. Thanks for trucking with T-Bone. Like, subscribe, and share. And we will see you on the next one. Take care. Be safe.